Okay. Main event. Jan Bukovic and uh excuse me, Israel Adesanya. I almost said Anderson Silva. I'm not far off, but anyways. Not a horrible fight, but I'll be completely honest, guys. I was expecting more. I was expecting more from uh I was I would have to say I I'm I'm expecting more I was expecting more from Israel Adesanya, to be completely honest. Uh he landed some good shots in there. It definitely wasn't Yoel Romero versus Israel Adesanya. You know, it was way more uh, eventful than that, but you know, what are you gonna do? Yamakovich is a big dude, you can't get too close. He's got that one hit Polish power. It puts you out. That man is crazy. I mean, you know, um, I definitely was leaning more toward uh, Israel Adesanya, and I'd have to say I'm more of a fan of Israel Adesanya than Jan Bukovic, but Jan Bukovic is a monster, man, and he's had such a great, like, uh, I guess, comeback story. He was on something like a four-fight losing streak uh, and was about to get cut from the company, if I do believe. I could be wrong. Uh, but then he just came back and started knocking fools out. Uh, I'm going to see if I can get him in order. It was, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I believe it was Luke Rockhold. Insane knockout. Uh, Corey Anderson, I believe. Give me just one second. Let me, let me, I'm just throwing out names and I could be completely wrong. So let me just fact check this real quick. Jan Bukovic, probably am not going to spell that right. Can you blame me though? Come on. Give me a break. All right. So let's see where we got. What we got. What we got. Don Gray. Yeah. Corey Anderson. Okay. All right. So he knocked out Luke Rockhold. Like I said, insane knockout. Then he won a decision versus Ronaldo Souza. Uh, I definitely looked over that. So I apologize. Knocked out Corey Anderson. Then knocked out Dominic Reyes. Giving, in Dom, giving Dominic Reyes his first real uh, loss. Because, come on, let's be real. He beat John Jones. Fight me on that one. Uh, but, yeah, he's had a really good comeback story, man. And he's super, super good. He's such a beast, man. And uh, regardless, you got to give Israel Adesanya some credit for even going up to 205. Because he's definitely more comfortable at 185, you can see. Um, and I don't, I don't know. I, I don't know. I expected the weight to be a little bit closer. Apparently, I guess Israel Adesanya just doesn't cut that much. Cause he fights at 185, which is more than I walk around at. Um, and he went up to 205 and he weighed in at 200 and a half pounds. So yeah, I, I feel like the, the weight difference couldn't have been, couldn't have made that much of a difference now that I think about it. Uh, but yeah, both of these guys were hesitant. They they both knew what each other were capable of, and that's something that a lot of I guess casual fans. Sorry, I'm not trying to offend anyone, but I guess the uh, casual fans wouldn't really understand. You can't just get in there. Two people like this, you can't just get in there and, and go at it. I mean, you can. Kelvin Gastelum and Israel Adesanya showed us that. But with Izzy, there's the weight thing, and then with the uh, with uh, Jan Bukovic, there's definitely the striking gap. I think it's safe to say. I don't, I don't think it's a shot at Jan Bukovic to say that uh, Israel Asanya is definitely on another level of striking. You know, all in all, not a horrible fight. I just was expecting a little bit more, I guess. But, you know, beggars can be choosers, and it definitely makes sense why neither of these guys would get in there and just, like, go at each other. Uh... You know, but like I said, way more eventful than fucking uh, Yoel Romero versus Israel Adesanya, that's for sure. 